Want to learn the top five mistakes Christian entrepreneurs make when starting a t-shirt business online? Well, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to share the top five mistakes Christian entrepreneurs make when starting their own Christian t-shirt business online. Hey, it's your girl Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of God the World Girl, creator of the God the Girl School of Business, and I'm super excited to share with you the top five mistakes I've seen Christian entrepreneurs make online when they're starting their own Christian t-shirt business and how you can avoid those mistakes, sis. So mistake number five is ordering inventory in bulk. Now, this was a mistake that I made when I first started my Christian t-shirt business in 2011, so I totally get it. But we have this thing like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm gonna sell these t-shirts, I'm gonna, um, there's gonna be so much demand for them, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend all this money, thousands of dollars up front to order the shirts, uh, go to the local printer, get them printed, um, have them sitting in boxes, and then wait for people to order from me, and then I'll ship them out. Don't do that, sis, don't do that, no, no. Have a print on demand business model. So we are very blessed that in 2019, we have the opportunity to print t-shirts on demand for our customers. What this means is that in the past, when people order from you, you would have to have had the shirts already done and then put them inside of a package and ship it to them, right? So you have boxes of inventory all over your house, all over your office, so annoying. Now, there are print on demand t-shirt businesses. And so when somebody orders your shirt, Literally, you go to that print on demand website and you enter in that, that person's email or you enter in that person's shipping address and shirt size and specs and have it shipped directly to the customer. So you don't have to manually touch the shirt ever. You don't have to get it printed. You don't have to ship it yourself. You don't have to handle packing it up, nothing. It's literally printed when somebody purchases from you. And even better, there are some websites that do this automatically, like Shopify. So I use Shopify for my Christian t-shirt business and I connect it to the Printful app. So when somebody orders my shirt from Shopify, Shopify immediately notif notifies Printful. Printful immediately charges my card for the cost of printing the shirt and shipping the shirt. Prints it, ships it over to the customer, Shopify deposits the money that the customer paid into my account, so I come out with a profit. Love this, it's amazing, but only some print on demand businesses will do this, where they will automatically ship when somebody uh, orders it from you. But whether you choose to um, fulfill the order manually or fulfill it automatically, totally up to you. Just use a print on demand business model and don't spend all that money ordering thousands of shorts in inventory and have them sitting around your house. Just don't do it, sis. We don't have to do it in 2019. <laughs> we can use print on demand. Mistake number four that Christian entrepreneurs make when starting a Christian t-shirt business is not doing product research. Not doing product research. Um, I know somebody who launched their own t-shirt business and didn't find out what was in the market, didn't find out what was already doing well or what already um, had an audience for it. They just kind of created these shirts and then crossed their fingers like this. But because they didn't do product research, they didn't realize that there's no audience for the type of shirts they wanted to sell. So they were constantly running their head into walls, frustrated, not able to sell these shirts. And they DM'd me on Instagram and was like, I can't find anybody to sell my shirts, what do I do? And I was like, did you do product research to find out if there was already a market for this type of shirt that you're creating? And they said no. And I was like, well, I, I, I can't give you advice. I don't, I don't know how to magically create an audience for you, you know what I mean? Do product research before you launch your Christian t-shirt business. Now granted, there are some types of t-shirts that you don't really have to do product research for. You already know they're gonna sell. Star Wars shirts, right? Those franchise shirts, right? They're always gonna sell, it doesn't matter what. Um, really, really popular sayings and gifts and things like that, you know that there's an audience for that because they're trending and they're viral. But that in itself is product research. You know that it's gonna sell because they're already trending and viral. So do product research to find out what's already trending, what's already selling well in regards to your industry, okay? And if you need help doing this, make sure you get into the God Will Grow School of Business where I show you how to do product research step by step. Mistake number three that Christian entrepreneurs make when creating their own t-shirt business is not having a brand identity. Listen, sis, if you don't have a brand for your t-shirts, then somebody can easily replace you. Now let me tell you about entrepreneurship in 2019. It is extremely easy to start a business in 2019 because we have social media and we have business models that allow us to start with zero dollars up front. If you create your own business but somebody can easily duplicate you, you can be easily replaced in the market. Don't do this. 
create a brand for your t-shirts. Here at Godwood Girl, I have a series of t-shirts, right? This is, I call this one the scripture collection, and they're basically Bible verses that empower you to live your God-given purpose. So this one is James 25, uh, blessed, right? However, because somebody can easily duplicate this, if I did not have the Godwood Girl brand and I was just um, selling the James 125 blessed shirt, then somebody else could just copy my design and start running Facebook ads to the same audience I was running to and replace me, right? All they have to do is charge a dollar lower and they're going to replace me. But because these shirts are God Would Girl shirts, it's part of the God Would Girl Live Your Purpose movement. God Would Girl is trademarked. There is a brand. There is an identity online. If you're purchasing the James 125 Blast shirt from God Would Girl, then even if Joe Smo from down the street offers you a similar shirt, you're not going to buy it because it's not a God Would Girl shirt. It's the same thing that Nike does and Adidas does and Reeboks does. They have a brand. So even if somebody creates a design similar to theirs, if you want a Nike shirt, you're going to Nike, sis. You're not going to get those substitutes. So you want to do the same thing for your own t-shirt business online. Create a brand identity for your shirts. This is a movement. This is a message. This is something that you are creating for people to be excited about and part of. That's what a brand does. And if you need help creating your own brand, make sure you join me in the God to Grow School of Business where I show you how to create your own brand personality online. Mistake number two that I've seen Christian entrepreneurs make when launching their own t-shirt business is not doing any market research when they're designing their shirts. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You get an idea for this amazing shirt, right? And you start putting it together and then you try to sell it to people and nobody buys it. Did you do market research? <laughs> Product research is finding out what's already selling in your niche, in your industry. Market research is finding out how your audience wants you to design their shirts. Here at Godwood Girl, if I am designing a new t-shirt collection and I don't ask my audience what they want first, then I am guessing at trying to fill their needs. However, if I ask them what they want, they tell me and then I give them what they want, I am serving my audience with the solution they asked me to serve them with. This is market research. For your Christian t-shirt business, you can have crop tops, sweatshirts, joggers, you can have jackets, you can have boyfriend tees, you can have unisex tees, you can have the low crop tops, you can have the scoop necks. There are a lot of different things that you can do for your t-shirt business. So you wanna make sure you find out from your audience what they want first and then design your t-shirt collection based off of that research, okay? And finally, the biggest mistake Christian entrepreneurs make when starting their own t-shirt business online. The biggest mistake that most entrepreneurs make when starting their own business online is not building an audience first. A lot of us as, Christians, as, as entrepreneurs wanna just create a product and then find somebody to buy it. But actually, the, when you really think about what entrepreneurship is, it's finding a problem that hasn't been solved yet and then creating a solution to that problem. Notice what I said. It's finding a problem that hasn't been solved yet. It's not being like, oh, I want to do this and then just doing it. No, it's finding a hole in the market and filling it. That's really what the core of entrepreneurship is. So as an entrepreneur, you first want to build your audience to find out what hole you can fill for them. You want to find out what problem you can solve for them. But you can only do that if you've already built an audience. A lot of us create these amazing products, yes, but then we're trying to sell, sell them to people all the time because we don't have a list of people who want to buy from us. Let me tell you, sis, praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I, every single product that I have created for the past two years in my business has always sold. How? How am I able to know that 100% of the time when I make something new, it's going to sell? Well, I ask my audience what they want first. I pre-sell it to them second, and then I make it. Hear me on this. This is what I call the purpose profit formula. I ask my audience what they want first. I pre-sell it to them second because if they're not gonna buy it in pre-sales and they're probably not gonna buy it when it's already made. So that is my biggest tester if they really want this, if they buy it in pre-sale. And once they have purchased it in pre-sales, now I'm getting paid to create the product, so I make it for them and deliver it to them third. This is what I call the purpose profit formula. This is what I teach in the School of Business. And the only way to be able to do this, sis, is for you to create your audience first. If you don't know how to create your audience, make sure you check out the YouTube video that I did, How to Start a Christian Teacher Business in 2019. It's gonna give you the steps on how you can actually build your audience online. But you wanna make sure you have your audience in place first 
ask them what kind of shirts they want from you second, and then give it to them third. That's how you're gonna be able to know you are literally solving a problem for your Christian t-shirt business. So I hope you enjoyed that video on the top five mistakes I've seen Christian entrepreneurs make when they're launching their own Christian t-shirt business. And let me tell you, I made the mistake myself when I launched my first t-shirt collection. So I completely understand, I've totally been there. Don't worry if you've made these mistakes, it's not over yet. Praise God, the Lord allowed me to go out and build God the Wood Girl and build this audience online. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So it's not over yet. You can still go ahead and build your audience and start really providing solutions to the problems that your audience ask you to solve for them, okay? You can do this. Now, if you're not already subscribed to the God to Go YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscription button. My goal for this channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ as a Christian entrepreneur. And if you want my Launch Your Christian T-Shirt Business Checklist, which helps you stay on track as you are starting your own Christian T-Shirt business, make sure you click the link in the description box below to get that free checklist. Thank you so much for joining me here on the God to Grow YouTube channel. You are such a blessing in my life, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.